Hey all, I really struggled to make this video in a way that I think gets across my concerns in a way that doesn't sound like I am trying to push an agenda. Um, I'm going to be producing, I plan to produce, fewer edited videos on this channel moving forward, i.e. like the classic anime review where I have anime footage running um, either interspersed or on the side. And the reason is, last week, one of my videos got a copyright claim against it and was taken down. Now this happens, it's happened to me before, um, it kind of sucks, but I figure, you know, it's a, it's a big system, videos are going to get flagged, fine, fair enough. It doesn't really bother me. What bothers me about this one is that this is the review of Neo Tokyo, an obscure anime film from the 90s, about 20 years old. And the copyright claim came from Kadokawa. Further, this is the video where I have the, the, the footage running in a little screen on the side, so you can barely see any of it. And it's a short review. So, if the original Japanese companies are now flagging content, even 20-year-old content, nothing is safe. Right? There is no video I can make short of just me staring at a camera that is not likely to get flagged or increasingly likely to get flagged by the system. Now, to be clear, I totally understand YouTube's view on this. It's their platform. It's their rules. And they don't want people uploading lots of movies and having a, you know, um, a site where there's lots of illegal stuff going on. So... I understand they build a system to flag these things. It's mostly automated. And I understand the copyright owner's perspective on wanting to make sure that their stuff gets flagged. You know, I don't blame YouTube. I don't blame Katakawa. But the reality is I don't know a way of making a video, a review video, that won't get flagged. And with the Jap Japanese owners now getting involved, there's no anime I can review that isn't – um, now, has it, it doesn't now have a a, a non-zero chance, if you will, of getting flagged. Now, a few notes on this. I know I can go to Vimeo and post videos there, but the whole point of this is to get these reviews out in front of a lot of eyeballs, and all those other sites like Vimeo are, you know, they just don't have the platform, they don't, don't have the reach. Um, you know, my job here is not to, um, get, you know, put this somewhere, no matter where, even if no one ever sees it. Um, you know, I, I need to have some level of, of visibility for my stuff. Also, I could just do videos where it's just me and, and a camera and I never edit any footage in. And I might do that. I might do these reviews as that. Um, I'll probably be, end up doing them more as blog posts on the blog. Um, and the problem is, I just know those videos are not going to get much attention. I know folks don't watch videos. There's just a guy staring at a camera with nothing flashy going on, no effects, you know, no footage, just me and the camera. Um, so it just makes more sense for me to build a review um, uh, reputation in another medium, right, as opposed to doing it here on YouTube where mm, – these reviews clearly, and, and that, that style of review is not effective for me. And I know other channels get away with it. Mine doesn't, for whatever reason. Um, and again, just to be clear, I'm not trying to um, to rag on YouTube or Katakawa. Um, this is just a wake-up call for me that I can't do those kinds of videos. I can't do those flashy review videos where I've got the original reviewed content interspersed in it. I just, I just can't do that. So it's either going to be me and a camera or a blog post. And that's the reality. I just, want, like, I just, bleh, I just wanted – I'm going to keep that in. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what's going on, that that's what I'm I'm currently you know looking at, and that's a decision I've made moving forward. Uh, and it, it's frustrating. It, it's unfortunate. Um, but it's just the reality, right? And it's just what I'm what I've got to do.